why does Facebook keep killing Bangladeshi atheists? Recently, Whoa. several notable Bangladeshi atheists and secular bloggers lost access to their Facebook accounts as they found that Facebook had closed their account and marked it as remembering, a function reserved for those who had died. Alarmed and shocked, the bloggers soon realized that this was a, the outcome of a planned attack on many popular online figures within the Bangladeshi blogosphere. Arifur Rahman, a London-based Bangladeshi cartoonist and secular blogger, stated that the phenomenon of Facebook declaring accounts as memorialized happened to a plethora of well-known Bangladeshi activists. When asked about the process of raising his account from the dead, Ar Arifur stated, it wasn't easy. I've been sending them the required ID and evidence for over two weeks, and no one from Facebook ever sent me an email confirming or denying it. Although many of the bloggers were able to eventually retrieve their accounts, some worry that this will happen again and they will not receive any help from Facebook to prevent it. So this is particularly exciting for me because I saw Arthur posting about this on Twitter and tagging us. And then I went to go look for someone to talk about this and no one was posting about this. No one reported on this. So I talked to a member of my team and we interviewed Arif about this problem. And so this is like, we're the first people to report on this issue. Um, and so I would highly encourage people to go read this interview that we did with Arif um, on our website. You can just, or you can just Google, why does Facebook keep killing Bangladeshi atheists or the services in the description? Um, because this interview with Arif is fantastic. Um, he talks a lot about this issue at large, and he also talks about his background and um, how his activism has evolved, what's going on in the Bangladeshi blogosphere currently right now for secularists, and um, in, in kind of his, his history as well. Like, I, it's a fantastic interview. Um, I'm familiar with this feature on Facebook because when my mom died, I mean, my mom had given me access to our Facebook account. And we had a lot of pictures there, okay? And I don't know how Facebook realized that she died and it switched to remembering. And I lost a whole bunch of our pictures that were on private with my mom and everything. And I can never get access to them again. Um, so so I know what this, yeah, your, your account turns, turns into remembering. But imagine how horrifying that must be for a whole bunch of family members who just all of a sudden see your account announcing your facebook account announcing that you're dead like they must be like i mean imagine like i don't know like imagine people who love you all of a sudden like for for a couple of minutes there they're going to be like devastated like yeah, but yeah especially if you're an atheist and there's reasonable you know a bangladeshi atheist so and there's there's there there are ex situations where you could imagine that they would be you know for people oh, yeah. who don't know bangladeshi bangladeshi atheists are under there are a, a lot of threats and a lot of them a lot of bangladeshi atheists and secular activists have been killed right uh, by 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 islamic mobs right so yeah that must be very scary but i don't know how yeah f there's no there's no like, customer service or anything on facebook twitter and youtube like you just like sometimes you, you know like our account has been demonetized for example right and we are supposed to get reviewed for like months now and there's like every time we complain about the fact that nobody's looking at it like it's just like we're just talking into the void it's like there's nobody on the other side right by the way guys if anybody knows anybody in youtube please reach out to us because we've been we haven't been you know so that's still happening but yeah but i don't know if this uh, us bringing attention to this is not gonna do much it's like i don't know because it's face it's just like such a this is why we need more competition against Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, because they don't give a crap about any of us. Like, I mean, there's not enough competition for them to, to value us being upset about anything. So need more competition. Mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. um, so uh, Taslima Nasrin, when she was talking about this, she suspects that what the Islamists do is that they create, they make fake death certificates and then inform Facebook and then Facebook wow. closes the account, which is just like the extent to which people are willing to go 
to try to do these things. And I found out about this because like you said, people are going to see this and think that someone happened to their family member or friend. And I'm friends with Arif on Facebook and I was poking around and all of a sudden I saw his account was remembering. And I was like, what? Like I was shocked and I was worried. So I went digging through social media and then I saw on his Twitter because I started Googling him. I'm like, wait, was it he reported that he died? And I didn't see anything. And so then I was looking on Twitter and I see that he's posting like, guys, I'm alive. Like, I don't know what's going on. So, um, and I was shocked that no one's been talking about how this is an issue of the, the Bangladeshi secularists are being yeah. targeted with that we were able to get this out and have it kind of collected and talked about. And um, because more people need to talk about how this, you know, particularly vulnerable group of secular activists is being targeted right now. And they're saying like, you know, we have so many threats against our lives in the real world. And now in the digital sphere, like we're being killed, this is ridiculous. And the platform doesn't have any good ways to actually ensure that this doesn't continue to happen. And they're not continually targeted. The good news is, is that, like Ari for is back on Facebook. He's not, he's no longer dead, but it took him way longer than it should have. It shouldn't have never happened in the first place. Yeah. Good thing you brought attention to this. So thank you for that. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.